Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to restore MSDB database. And this demo is going to help you if you have following scenarios. You have MSDB database backup, and backup is recent and good. When I talk about uh, good backup, that means that's restorable. There is no issue with that. And uh, it, maybe you have rebuilt MSDB or all system databases. So now you're looking to go ahead and restore your MSDB so that you can get all your jobs or any other user uh, um, objects in MSDB that you have created uh, after the rebuild it needs to be basically recreate so uh, if you have a backup you don't have to go ahead and recreate it you all you need to do is go ahead and restore MSDB backup so in this video we will we'll be learning uh, obviously restore uh, MSDB using SQL Server Management Studio and we'll, second method we'll be using is restore MSDB using T-SQL script so let's go ahead and do that Here's my uh, SQL Server. Here's my system databases back um, system databases, and let me show you real quick that uh, where the backups are. See sys, uh, SQL sys, uh, backups wherever your backups are. Um, you need to basically know the location up here. Master model and MSDB. These are my system databases backups. So I'm going to do uh, using SQL Server Management Studio. Go ahead and restore MSDB. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on MSDB task and restore database and we're going to go ahead and restore it from the device because our backup is on device so we're gonna go ahead add our uh, backup right here navigate to the directory where you have the system backups or MSDB backup up here MSDB backup and we need to click on options right here and we need to overwrite an existing with, which means with replace so we're going to go ahead and overwrite existing database and keep in mind that right here the server connection uh, msdb is very uh, basically busy database all the connection from agent side if your agent is running um, and uh, if your jobs are running they are connected with msdb and if you are connect if this database is in use and you don't click this option close existing connection to destination uh, database then it is going to fail uh, saying that database is in use so you need to make sure that you go ahead and click close existing connection what it'll do back behind the scene it'll put this database in single user mode and then once it's restored it's going to put in multi user mode so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click OK And as you can see, the MSDB database restored successfully. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Now let's go ahead and use T-SQL script. We're going to go ahead and uh, load our T-SQL script. Open file. And that is on uh, restore MSDB right here. As you can see right here is putting the MSDB into a single user with immediate rollback right here and it's going in our location that we provided and uh, right here is going to go ahead and uh, replace the this will be the stats of our completion whether it's a five per, if it's a five then it's going to tell us five percent ten percent with the five increment and after that once the restore is completed it's going to uh, put the database in multi-user again so let's go ahead and execute this script as you can see that uh, the uh, restore is completed successfully without any errors so our MSDB database is restored I hope this video uh, helps you because it, it covers some of the scenarios as we said that uh, uh, maybe you have just uh, rebuilt MSDB or all system databases back up and you're looking to go ahead and restore your MSDB back up and uh, uh, get your all jobs back from your previous backup. And I hope this video helps.